Hi everyone and welcome back to Your English Classroom. Now before we get started, I'd like you to hit that subscribe button and join your classmates. They're waiting for you. Okay, so what are we going to be doing in today's lesson? Well, in today's lesson, we're going to be looking at prepositions of time. Now, a preposition is a word that connects a noun and a pronoun together. And I've listed them below for you, so take a look. We're going to go through each one, one by one. So let's get started. Okay, so the first preposition is at. And this is used for specific and short times of the day. Specific and short times of the day. So, for example, we would say, let's meet at 12 p.m. Don't forget, part of the day. So, it's at. She left at 1 p.m. 1 p.m., specific point of the day, at. Okay, so the next preposition, in. A very common and a very popular one. This is used for months, years and specific times of the year. Remember, specific times of the year. So, an example sentence would be, School starts in September. Not on September, guys. Pay attention. But in September. We've also got, I graduated in 2010. Now, this is a year, don't forget. It's a year, so it's in. We've also got, I will start studying in the afternoon, not on the afternoon, so pay attention. Okay, the next preposition, on, another popular one, and this is used for days and dates. Okay, so the first example sentence would be, I went shopping on Friday. Why? Because it's a day. And you would also say, I leave on the 25th of March. Why? Because it's a date. Okay, so make sure you are aware of this. Days and dates. Okay. We've also got the next preposition, which is for. And this is used for durations of time. Duration, a period of time. A period of time. So, an example sentence would be, I lived in London for five years. Now, five years is a period of time. I also studied French for three years. So, three years again, guys. Period of time. Okay, the next preposition, by. Now, by is something that needs to be completed before something else. Okay, it needs to be completed before something else. So, you need to be somewhere. So, we would say, you need to be there by 9 a.m. You have a deadline. 9 a.m. Okay, the next preposition, until. Now, until is a continuous event that will end at a specific time. So when we've got a backlog of paperwork or we've got work to do, we'll say, I can't leave work until I finish all of this paperwork. Oh, well. So you've got a ton of paperwork, loads of paperwork, lots of work to do, but you can't leave until you finish it all. Okay, so we've got an exercise for you. So I want you to pay attention. I start school September. Come on, guys. Well done, in. Next one. I lived there six years. Okay, I'm waiting. Four. Well done. Duration. Next one. I need to wake up. At. Well done. A specific time in the day. 7 a.m. We've also got she stayed, the shop closed. Come on now, we just did it. Until a continuous event that will end at a specific time. And the last one, the exam is Monday. Come on, guys. Days and dates on. Excellent for those of you who got it correct. Okay, excellent work, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe.